Okay, so uh, maybe I, I I add another example. When the total variable, it is about the nonlinear equation. When the total variable is 2. Okay, uh, let's see. Now we have uh, y square minus z square equal to 9. Okay. Last time, if you have positive, we have a circle equation, right? And then your 3D graph is a cylinder. But now you have a negative. Okay, so if you look at my notes that I give to you for the part 1, I list down some uh, general equation. Right? right? And then please look at that. Okay, so this one is actually... Um, not an ellipse but hyperbolic. Okay, so what is the general form of hyperbolic function? So if you don't remember the hyperbolic behavior, the uh, or the bit the uh, hyperbolic property, then you have to uh do some revision on it. Okay, so please, 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 because it is very important. If you don't know how to sketch, if you do not know what is the property of the uh for that specific equation. I'm sure that you feel this course is very, very tough. Okay? So, if you feel that, okay, when I'm, I'm talking about hyperbolic and you don't remember at all, and then please just directly go googling and find the, what is hyperbolic graph. What is the thing that you have to know about the hyperbolic graph? Rather than just look at my video and you do, you do not, um, you don't uh, you, you you have no idea at all so then it is end up just useless okay all right so the, uh, the hyperbolic uh, the standard equation of the hyperbolic is this one is always equal to one the right side here is equal to one so how how can you make it one meaning that you have to uh, divide both sides with nine so you will have y squared minus z squared over 9 and this one become y so that will become y square over 9 minus z square over 9 equal to y okay so you know the what is the shape of hyperbolic hyperbolic so now you have a zy plane whether you have the c upside down or you can have the c like this so you have to know that okay so here uh, you need to know the intersection so you can see if you have this time this this, this type of uh, curve then you can see that your your graph here never touch the y axis but the intersection uh, on the z axis over here then you have to find it similarly if you have to z y <coughs> for this particular graph you see that the graph never touch the z axis but there is uh, intersection on the y axis but which is which then you have to know okay in order for you to find out the intersection interception on the um, for this particular axis then you have to rewrite your denominator into a square form so you have y squared over uh, 3 squared minus uh, z squared over 3 squared equal to 1 so you know that on the intersection or along the y, on the y axis, it should be 3. You just take the square root, so 3. And the intersection on z axis, also 3. Just coincident, they have the similar denominator. But if you have it, it can be different. Okay, it's not, not all the time they should have the same. Okay, so now, uh, now you have to think, what is the correct curve, correct graph for this particular equation? Whether this one or this one. 
Okay, so the hint is you just look at the negative sign there. You have to look at where is the ne negative sign. So now you can see that the negative sign is belong to Z. So meaning that the graph is never touch the Z as is. Okay, negative is belongs to Z because it is in front of Z. So I would say negative belongs to Z. So the graph will never touch the Z. And see, so which one? Never touch the Z. This one or this one? It should be the right one. Okay, so this is not the graph. And then you can also determine the intersection on y axis where you just refer to the y here. You have y and just like take the denominator in the square root form. So you got 3. So you know that the value here is 3 and this one is supposed to be negative 3. Okay, so that is your trace. Okay, and you have only single trace because the total variable is only 2. So you have only one trace. So next, in order for you to provide the, the surface, on 3D, then you have to do a projection. So let's say to be to be easy. I mean, make sure to easy to be sketch easy to be sketch. So I just refer to the orientation that we have from the tree. So I, I just fix the Z there and followed by Y here. Okay. So now I want you to draw again this curve on Z Y plane on the 3D system. Okay, so from the equation, which variable missing? Y, Z, or X? Yes, it is X. X missing meaning that you have to you have to project your curve here along X, along X. So this is X. Okay, so firstly we have to draw the hyperbolic. So in this case you have to have the negative part. So you draw the, the line, that one, and the other part, the negative part. Okay, and then uh, just to, to, I have, I want to do, I want to extend this. So this is X. So when you do a projection, you just, you see just now, you have to project this line along the x so you assume that in front of you so where are you guys so you are here right and you're looking over there so you assume that in front of you there is a new okay maybe so there is a new z and there is a new y okay and you draw again the same curve So this is 3 and this is minus 3. So let's say here, so that is the graph and this is the graph. Okay, and then to complete the surface, you sketch the projection line. So this, this one will join to that one. Okay, so, uh, so this parallel to the x. And this one also parallel to X. Okay. And this one parallel to X. And this one parallel to X. Okay. So it looks like your graph something like um, this shape. So here, uh, I just want to check uh, my question, my my uh, work, uh, my sketch by hand with the uh, apps, 3D calculator. And you can see here, so you can see the hyperbolic, and this one is you project along the. So I'm sure that this one is X. Okay, so 
that is your um, hyperboloid okay hyperboloid shape so we call this as hyperboloid of two sheets because from one equation it's split into two uh, surfaces right this one when uh when we have the um where is the uh z sorry y eh? so this one is y positive and this one for y negative so it's split into two surfaces so we call this as a hyperbolic of two sheets okay okay so uh next example i want you to try to sketch another equation of y equal to x square okay let's count what is the total variable that we have there there is two right two variables y and x so meaning that how many trees that you have to provide a single tree so you need to provide one trees so your trace is on 2D. So on which plane that you have to sketch the the trace? So look at the variable uh, here. You have y and x. So you have y versus x. Or okay, you can have x versus y. So it's up to you. So now, what is this graph on 2D? It is quadratic, right? So quadratic. Symmetrical along the y axis and passing to the origin. So that is your trace. Now, since there is only one single trace, so you need to do a projection. So now when you convert into 3D, so let's say I'm fixing the coordinate, the orientation as in the trace. Where y here and x, okay. and this one's supposed to be z. So now we draw this quadratic on the y x plane on the 3D system. So this one, okay. So now we draw the quadratic, okay. And then since you have to provide the projection. We have to project this line, this green line. Okay, this line now uh, along the z axis. Okay, how can we have along the z axis? Because you look at again the trace. So, what is the variable miss, missing? There is no z, meaning that you, that you are looking from z axis. So, you, you are looking from here to that direction, and you can see this quadratic. So, as we done before, we want to pro project uh, this quadratic along the z, then you have to assume in front of you, there is a new y and a new x. So, y, x. And you draw again the quadratic where it should be on the similar size. And that is your uh, imagination. So, it, so I would say in, in Malay, we say that kita tarik ikan garisan kuadratik ni sepanjang paksi Z. And you can, and you can nampak benda ni. Okay, so istilah a projection tu tarik or unjurkan. Okay, so then in order for us to provide the surface, then we have to draw a projection line, which is a line, which is, a line parallel to z. So, just continue with both line, that one, and that line. So your um, surface is just like what we call this. Okay, what you call, what you call that? Just like a dream shape, a dream. Okay. Or we, you can check from the GeoGebra. So, 
So we put uh, what is the equation just now? Y equal to hopefully you can have y equal to x square. Sorry, oops, x square. Okay, so that is quadratic shape. So that is a quadratic. Yeah, that's it. So you just play around with that. So you can see, uh, just like a dream, a dream. Okay. So you from this side. Uh, you can see the quadratic but in reality in 3d it is just like a drain shape okay so hopefully you can just play around with this uh, apps or online portal okay so uh, how about if i change that Let's say I change that to be uh, z equal to y square. So you will have the same shape, but then you just change. You, you see that the the this kind of this kind of graph is now uh, uh, in this form in the, in this form, but then you just change the you just change the axis. So it's become based on this. So it's become uh, this one, z, y, and then you project this line along the, along the x because there is no x here. So you project, you tarik sepanjang x. Okay. So hopefully you understand how to sketch that. Okay, so just uh, uh, take a look what kind of surfaces that we have sketched. So we, we uh, last time I told you, we, uh, uh, we divide the surfaces into two planes where all the equation is a linear equation. And then we have something curvy surfaces where the equations, they are all non-linear equation. Okay, so uh, you can see here this one um, for planes, the total variable is one. And then after that, the total variable is two and the total variable is three. So these two need one twist okay and then you need to do a projection and this one you need the three traces okay similarly we have cylinder so this one we have sketched the cylinder so the total variable is two similar as this one total variable is two so here one trace and then you have to provide the projection and also this one one trace and also this one one three so all this the total variable 2 so that's why you need to provide only one trace okay uh, we also have sketch the uh, sphere okay what is the equation of the sphere the simplest one x squared y squared z squared equal to 9 now the total variable is 3 so when you refer back to our to the video that I shared with you so the since the total variable is three, so you need to provide three traces. When you have three traces, you don't need the projection. You have just to combine them all together and sketch on the similar three D system. Okay, so next maybe we want to sketch the. Uh, we have we, you have to know how to sketch a ball and then another uh, uh, hyperboloid shape and so on. 